Now let's proceed with this question number 83. It states that choose the odd one out of the following figures. You can see in the option we have four figures. You need to choose the odd one out. So let's observe these figures closely. You can see this circle inside the square. Here we have smaller circles where first the upper halves are colored then the upper halves are blank. This pattern is being followed in the consecutive two circles. In similar manner here in these two circles you can see the upper portions are blank and then these two consecutive circles have upper portion filled. But in this case one of the upper portion of the inner circle is unfilled then it is filled then it is unfilled then it is filled. Coming to this one here also we can focus that these two circles consecutively have these upper portions filled rather these two have empty portions for the upper area. That means considering these smaller circles the same pattern is not followed in this third option. So you can definitely mark the correct answer for this question as option number 3. This is the odd one out of the following figures. I hope it is clear to you. Now let's proceed to our next question. Now let's take question number 84. It states that if face off is written as G Z D D P E G. then how will actives be written out of these four options. So let us proceed with this question. Here I have the word face off and here actives. So as you know that face off is written as G Z D D P E G. So when you go one alphabet ahead you reach to G in similar manner when you go one alphabet ahead from C you reach to D and here O is followed by P and here F is followed by G. In similar manner you can see that here Z is followed by A, here D is followed by E and here we have the alphabet E which is followed by F. So we are going firstly one alphabet position ahead for the second alphabet we are going one alphabet position backwards. So one position ahead then one position backward. You can consider this as plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1 then plus 1. The same pattern will be followed for actives. So let us figure it out. Here very first A will be followed by B at alternate position this is followed. T will be followed by U. V will be followed by W, S will be followed by T. In similar manner, B is followed by C, H is followed by I, D is followed by E. Now you can observe I am getting here the code as B B U H W D T. B B U H W D T is clearly found here in option number 2. So the clear answer for this question of coding decoding is found here in option number 2. So you can mark your answer as option 2. I hope it is clear to you. Now let us proceed ahead to our next question. Here I have this question which states that if table can be written as A E L L E and wind can be written as I W W I then how you can write spring. So again this is an interesting question related to coding decoding. So let us try to figure it out. So in this case as you can see table is written as A E L L E. Now let me tell you an interesting pattern hidden here. So when we consider here table you need to write it again and again. Firstly you leave one of the letter. Here, If you leave one of the letter you are reaching to A. You can see A is present there. Next you are leaving the two alphabets then you reach to E, then E is there, then you leave three alphabets, then you reach to L, further you leave four alphabets then you reach to L and next step you leave five alphabets and you reach to E. So this is the coding for table. Now in similar manner here when you leave one alphabet and you write wind again and again so you reach to I, when you leave two alphabets here you reach to W, when you leave three alphabets again you reach to W and when you leave here four alphabets you reach to I. 
So, this is the coding, this was a 5 lettered word. So, we had coding of 5 letters, this was a 4 lettered word. So, we had coding of 4 letters. In similar manner, let us write spring followed by string itself. That means, you need to write it in series 3, 4 times. So, when you leave the first alphabet, you reach to P, then you leave 2 alphabets, you reach to N, then you leave 3 alphabets, you reach to R, further you leave 4 alphabets, you reach to P, then you leave 5 alphabets, again you reach to P, then you leave here 6 alphabets and you reach here to R. So, this was a 6 lettered word, this is the required coding for this word spring that is P and R, P, P, R. So, out of these options given to us, P and R, P, P, R is found here in option number 1. So, the clear answer for this question is option number 1. You can definitely mark your answer as option 1. I hope it is clear to you. Let us proceed to our next question.